Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys liked the drifting video the other day. If you didn't see it, make sure you go check it out. If you can tell, little change of scenery today. We are down in New Jersey at Stable Energies. If you guys have been watching the channel, you know that we are freaking motivated and want to get the E46 Pro car done as soon as possible. And a major component to finishing that car is seats and safety equipment. So we're able to come down here, local shop, to test out the seats we want, make sure we fit in them, and get all the safety equipment possible. Let's run in, see what they have, and we'll uh, we'll talk to the guys and figure out the best option for us. <laughs> All right, we made it down to Stable Energies with my boy Oscar. What's up, man? What's up? How's it going? Good. So Oscar reached out a couple weeks ago when he saw we were working on the new pro car. Wanted us to come down, sit in some seats, see what feels comfortable. Hopefully, we'll be able to go home with some stuff today for the car. If you guys know, I run the OMP seats in my E36. I think I have the carbon ones. They were used when I got them. It's not a big deal. But I have... Do you know the name of these? They're the HTER seats, but they are the M Rain like art seats, correct? The BMW Special Edition right here. Which are so sick. The beautiful thing about this is it's the same seat. It's the same HTER seat, correct? It's just a different, just a different pattern yep. in fabric. So I know I fit in this seat and I know they are comfortable. So I think this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get some B-roll for you guys because it's the most freaking beautiful seat. I know Dustin just put one of these in his new M2 and he loves it, so pretty confident I'll like it as well. And you guys aren't interested in OMPs, they have a ton of Recaro seats here as well. So, and the nice thing is, you can come here into the showroom and sit in a seat to make sure you fit. The biggest thing with buying this stuff online is you don't know if you fit. So, it's really nice that you can come here, sit in the seat, and know you're going to fit when you put it into the car. And I'm not going to get into it too much today, but you can tell they have pretty much every piece of safety equipment you would ever need for racing. I think you guys, do you guys do a lot of karting stuff as well? Okay, so yeah, they do a lot of go-kart stuff, a lot of grip racing stuff, and then I know you guys do a lot of stuff with Club Loose as well, right? We're one of the bigger sponsors for Club Loose. We still do a driver assistance program. Oh, cool. We do that every year, and we're looking to get into more events with them. You can just check us out on their website and our website as well. Okay, one more thing. So I was doing some research before I came down here because I'm putting fire suppression in the new car and I was watching a video, Oscar, and they were saying there's two different types of, I guess it's fluid, is that correct? That's correct, there's two different types of fluid. One is AFFF, most common ones that you use, and the other one is uh, Novak. It's gas-based, so there's no cleanup and it's clean agent. There's three different types of activation for systems. You pull a lever, electric you push a button or the third one is going to be automatic once the car or the thermal bulb reaches 175 if you're blackout or if you it'll hesitated. automatically go so i think i like and i think we've we've already talked about this off camera but i think i like the the manual the best put it right on the edge of the car if you need to pull it or if safety needs to pull it they can get to it pretty easily right, yeah, right. i get nervous with the I don't know if this is a thing or not with the automatic one. If the car gets hot, even if it's not on fire, it could potentially go off. Something, uh, I don't think Oscar mentioned about the uh, on the uh, the thermal bulb yep. system. Okay. The automatic system. Yep. So that's capable of uh, two other activations. So you can have the electronic act. You originally have the thermal bulb. Okay. Right for flame, it's originally at 175 degrees F, and also you can add electronic activation, which is this detonator here. So that fires out a pin, breaks the thermal bulb. Oh, okay. And so everything you can, flows. You can add a, a button as well. Right. Okay. And you can add a pull cable. So that's why they call it a three way head. So you have thermal activation, you have electronic activation, and cable. And manual. Or you can use two pull cables and no electronic, but you always have that thermal bulb. Interesting. That. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. So you kind of get very versatile. Although it's a little more expensive, kind of get. The best of both worlds right or whatever you want right you can yeah, still have a handle or a button yeah. for activation yeah right. exactly and then you can put a pull cable outside or you can put a button or you can have two buttons 
for electronic activation. Yeah, one inside, one, one outside on the outside. For the workers yep. and one inside. Yeah, cool. Just wanted to yeah, yeah, no, that's really cool. I'm a nerd when it comes to this stuff, and I love learning about the systems. All right, heading out. The freaking truck load of stuff. Hold on one second. I can't thank these guys enough for working with me and helping me out on the new car. It's a massive help and it's just gonna make getting on track that much freaking faster. Once again, massive thank you to Stable Energies down here in Jersey. It's Truthfully, it's companies like this that are making this car a possibility. If it wasn't for good companies like this, this car would never be done. So shout out the whole team at Stable. Thank you guys so much. If you guys are in the market for seats or any safety equipment, they do 90% of their sales online. So I'll leave their website down below, go check it out. Or you can come in person and try out the seats, which I think is the coolest freaking thing ever. So let's go put these damn things in the car. All right, just made it back from Stable Energies and I am antsy to get the seats in the car, but I think I want to ceramic coat the backs before I put them in the car. I know it's ridiculous, but there's no time better than when a product is brand new than to ceramic coat it. So we're gonna use some G-Technic product on it, get them ceramic coated just so they're easier to clean when they're in the car because it's gonna be a tight squeeze behind the seat, between the seat and the cage. So let's get them ceramic coated. We'll get them thrown in the car, see how they look. Okay, so I'm sure most of you guys have seen ceramic coating installed before but for those that haven't i'm going to do a quick synopsis first you need to clean the panel then you need to install the ceramic coating and wipe it off pretty easy process but you have to use the right products to make it an easy process so let's get this stuff thrown on in a quick time lapse and then we'll be able to toss the seats in the car g technic baby I was just telling Martino because he is still here working on the project that unbelievable how much better it looks ceramic coated but I should have polished the seats before I coated them just to make them as juicy as possible. We gotta get the other one done then we'll get them thrown in the car and I don't even know if I showed you guys what seats we actually got because they were wrapped up when we put them in the truck so I'll show you guys that in a second. is by no means the final resting spot of the seat but holy shit pardon my french this looks insane and i'm really happy we ceramic coated the back of it because it looks much better this car is going to be a ton of mocking up in and out in and out with not just the seats but kind of everything we do so we have to get the seat in a position that we like then we have to adjust the steering column to make sure the steering wheel is far enough away from us and then we can do the harnesses i like to save the harnesses for last because you need to make them the correct length and that length will vary depending on where the seat is so i could not be happier with these seats i think they are a perfect fit for the bmw it's a bmw pattern and very grateful for stable for getting these for me and the Schroth, Schroth harnesses. Uh, and we also have an OMP fire suppression system coming for the car. So let's get some beauty shots of this. Good morning and welcome back to the video. I wanna get some more detailed shots and actually hard mount the driver's seat since I have the bracket for the floor. But first, the garage floor is disgusting. So I'm gonna give it a quick mop and then we'll move the car out into the limelight because I didn't show this in a video, but Mark, AKA Twin Turbo Stang, AKA my dad, who helps me with literally everything shop related, 
found this stuff for me on Marketplace. It's a Johnson bandsaw. This thing is bad to the bone. It had a blade, but I had to break it in order to find the correct size. So got a new blade coming for this. And we got a drop saw. It's made by a company called Greenlee. I think both of these are from the 60s or 70s, but they are in incredible working condition and I am so excited to add them to my arsenal of tools. Within the next year or so, I wanna get a TIG welder, a good MIG welder. I want to teach myself how to do everything I need to do to a car because I hate outsourcing stuff and I like doing stuff myself and I like learning and I'm becoming more patient the older I get. So the more I can learn to do in the shop, the quicker I can get cars done, the easier I can get cars done and the happier I'll be because I had completed the entire car, not having to outsource TIG welding, aluminum welding, etc. So this is the step in the right direction. I could not be happier. Thank you again, Mark. He has been a massive help. I know I say this a million times. He's been a massive help to helping me expand my tooling in the garage. So shout out Twin Turbo Stang. Get to mopping, baby. Let's just appreciate these seats for a second because they are so damn beautiful. If I didn't explain it already, they are O-M-P-H-T-E-R art style seats. They are supposed to look like the M rain pattern that came in the 90s BMWs. They're absolutely beautiful. I think they're a perfect fit for the E46. And like I said, bam. I already have the same seats in my E36. I had one in my 350Z, so I know I fit in them. That's the biggest thing. I'm so tall. I have issues finding seats that fit me a lot. So super happy I got these. Super happy I'm gonna be working with Stable Energies this year for all of my safety equipment, seats, helmet, etc. They're amazing, they're local, and I can't thank them enough. That's a freaking amazing opportunity. I know I say this every video, but without these companies, this would not be possible. So. Thank you guys, thank all the companies, show them some love, I'll put their Instagram and their website down below. This is gonna be the baddest car ever. I am freaking pumped. Let's get some B-roll. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Big progress on the E46. I am so excited and so grateful. And thank you guys for the support in the last video. Knocked it out of the park. We are heading off tomorrow morning to the LZ World Tour in Bakersfield, California. So when this video goes up, you still have a day or two. You guys wanna come? I will not be driving. There's a very small chance I'll be driving, but as of right now, I will not be driving, but I will be there all weekend hanging out. So if you see me, come say what's up. Um, just gonna be a relaxing weekend for me. So thank you guys again for watching. See you in a couple days. We're gonna be with Tej.